Hey everyone, I am back and today I'm going to talk about alcohol and Parkinson's. But before I get on that topic, I am going to pay a little tribute, a little honor to my friend Jeremy McDonald over at Parkinson's with Jeremy McDonald on YouTube. I will put a link in the description below so you can go check out his page. But anyways, he always has something different behind him, some kind of like old item like from the 80s or whatever, uh, usually a, an album or, um, or toy or something like that. So lo and behold, here's my, uh, here's my collection. Jeremy, I keep old things too. So I've got my Cabbage Patch Kid, my first Cabbage Patch Kid. Unfortunately, I did not save the certificate, so she's worthless, I think. And uh, I got a Beanie Baby here, and it's the from the Princess Die collection. It actually uh, is comes in a case, so it's it's a little on the valuable side. I have a few of them. My grandmother actually gave me that one, but I did actually collect a lot of Beanie, beanie Babies. Um, I've got my Prince Purple Rain album here. I bought. I actually bought this about a week before he passed. So that really sucked because I wanted to see him in concert and I never got a chance to. And here's a cassette tape. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of you, I'm sure a lot, I'm sure a lot of my viewers remember this. Uh, cassettes, remember cassettes. Uh, I got my flash dance here. I actually have like 200 plus cassette tapes, I think, that I just hung on, hung on to. And I do have my radio from high school that I play them on. And here's one of my VHS tapes. Great movie if you haven't seen it, but I'm sure, I feel like everybody's probably seen this movie. And here is my Mickey Mouse Disco Record Tote from way back in the day. I don't know how old when I was when I got this. I'm pretty sure I was, I would guess maybe around 10 or at least uh, young enough that I listened to the Chipmunks. Yeah. And let's see, I got Olivia Newton-John in here. And, uh... Look at this. How many of you guys remember this song? Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. Yeah. Anyways, I'll stop there. Oh, and one more. Actually, I do have more. Uh, I have a bunch of them in here, uh, 45s. I got Billy Joel. I got an Elvis Presley one. Those were handed, up, handed to me by somebody. And then this was like a, a detective book. It's got a record in it. I still have that too. So yeah, I uh, somehow I held on to this through all these years. And then I have uh, another record over here. I got Europe, uh, Homage to the Hair Band back in the night, early 90s. Got my Europe cassette tape and my Winnie the Pooh bear that I just loved and have pictures. Uh, I have a picture with this bear probably when I was like four, about four years old. So anyways, there you go, Jeremy. I got old stuff too. <laughs> Anyways, check out his page. He's got a lot of good information on there, a lot of good topics he covers uh, concerning Parkinson's and just fun things in general. All right, so back to me. Um, so in a previous video, I talked about uh, some health stuff I've had going on. I had a, um, I had a ferritin, uh, I had a lab test and my ferritin levels were, were, were high and that has to do with iron. Um, and I meant to actually look up the definition of ferritin to break it down to you guys, but I forgot. So I'll just put it somewhere around here. Uh, but anyways, um, so my labs kind of showed that I had like an iron overload. So I stopped taking multivitamins and then I also stopped drinking alcohol. I actually stopped on New Year's and it wasn't like necessarily a New Year's resolution. I had already kind of been stopping before then. I did not have an alcohol problem or anything like that, but I did drink um, like throughout the week I'd have like wine, I usually have like a Prosecco or something like that. And I was finding that like, I think since last summer up until the end of the year, that um, it didn't take very much for me to just not feel so good the next day. Like usually like if you get a hangover, you've had like a bunch of drinks and then the next day you're just like hung over and your day's like ruined. For me, it was like maybe two glasses of wine and I was like, my next day I was just feeling a little ruined. Oh, I'm a little shaky today. I don't know what's going on, a little shaky. Uh, anyway, um, so uh, I was kind of like weaning myself off the alcohol. I kind of like lost my taste for it too, but there was like one time I drank 
Uh, and like the next day I was throwing up from like the morning until literally seven o'clock at night. I think I, at some point I even threw up blood. And I was like, man, this is not fun. <laughs> like, what am I doing? So as time went on, I was just like drinking like less and less. And then, um, and then by the time New Year's came around, I was like, you know, I'm like really done. Like, I'm just not interested in drinking anymore. And I just, I found that I wasn't feeling good. I was like fatigued all the time. And I didn't know if that was, at the time I wasn't thinking that was from alcohol. Um, but I was like, doing all these, I was going to the doctors for different things, just trying to figure out what's going on with me because I also lost like a lot of weight unexpectedly and like it was, it was like, uh, I just had um, lack of appetite and I still can't explain like why, why that happened and I still haven't been able to put my weight back on, but at least I've kind of, I've stopped um, dropping weight. So I'm, I'm, I'm level right now where I'm at. But anyways, um, so, I decided to just just stop altogether and let me tell you like I, I stopped and then I also started drinking protein drinks because I probably wasn't getting enough protein as well so uh, and I will actually I'm drinking like I don't know how you pronounce it it's O-W-Y-N only oh only what you need only what you need yeah Owen I don't know how you would say it if it's Owen or whatever but anyways I love it it's like vegan friendly there's like nothing like if you're allergic to milk or, or or whatever um you don't have to worry that uh you're not gonna get like have any kind of side effect and it's also my favorite flavor is cookies and cream all right now so i'm i'm going all over the place now uh all right so anyways i started the protein drink and i quit alcohol at the same time and it's been what we're, we're in we're into march now so it's been a, it's been several months and I have been feeling so much better. I don't have the fatigue anymore. I mean, well, I still have fatigue here and there, but like the constant fatigue that I had. Okay, uh, minor interruption there. I had a storage space issue and my camera went kaput. So let me backtrack here. Um, I was saying that since I have uh, been off the alcohol, I've been feeling much better. And so I'm assuming I, I'm assuming that the alcohol mixed with my medication was probably making things worse for me. I mean, if you think about it, al alcohol is a toxin. It can affect your sleep. It can affect your gut health. Um, and, and if you're on medication, it can counteract with that medication in a negative way. So I think that's what was happening with me uh, in the latter part of last year. Because, I mean, I feel so much better since I've stopped drinking. And, um, you know, because I, I was having, um, I was having like gut issues, a lot of gut issues as well. And that has also subsided some. I mean, I still have like the typical Parkinson's constipation going on, but, um, but it's, Defin there's definitely been an improvement. Uh, so yeah, so like, I tell you what, if, uh, if you're drinking alcohol and you're taking prescription medication, why don't you give yourself like a 30 day challenge and of no alcohol and just see how you feel and see if that makes a difference. So that's all I pretty much wanted to relay is I'm feeling better since I've stopped drinking alcohol and I'm gonna continue to not drink alcohol. Um, I've even gone out with my friends to the bar and I've done very well like you know sometimes like I, I kind of wish I could have a drink with them but I'm just like nah I get I get water and I'm fine and I still have a good time so um yeah I'm just gonna keep not drinking alcohol and enjoying like feeling better and not uh, dealing with what I was dealing with last year um, so yeah uh, maybe challenge yourself and uh, see how you feel and if you do let me know. I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to hear how it how it affects you in the comments. And um, I hope y'all are doing well. And I will see you again soon on another video. Bye.